Hey Dill. Okay, so I know that you're having a couple problems, and I looked over them, and I think the first thing to do with the second picture you showed me, it was, what, 9x plus 36 over 3x plus 12. The first thing we really need to do is, um, we need to kind of go over what the idea is behind a remainder. So, for instance, let's do 6 over 5. We know 6 divided by 5 is a little bit bigger than 1, but it's less than 2. So let's divide it. And you always put the top one inside your divisor, and then you multiply divide by the outside. So how many times does 5 go into 6? Well, we know it goes into it at least once. So let's do that. So 5. Now let's subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. How many times does 5 go into 1? Well, it doesn't. So this 1 is your remainder. Okay, so this would then be written 1 and 1 fifth. This 1 comes and it's going to go in right there and then you got your fifth, your 1. Okay, if you have any questions on that, let me know. That's the remainder idea. So let's look at this problem again. And I'm going to change up the numbers a little bit. Let's do 5x plus 25 over x plus 5. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do this one, but I'm going to tell you how to do this one. Okay, so let's use the same idea that we used up here. Remember, we put the top one inside, so 5x plus 25. Then this bottom one, we're going to put on the outside, x plus 5. Now with this, I just want you to focus on the first number of each one. We got the 5x and the 5. How many times does x go into 5x? You follow me? How many times does x go into 5x? Well, it goes in about 5 times, doesn't it? because 5 times x equals 5x. All right, now let's go through and multiply this out. So what's 5 times x? Well, it'd be 5x. Then 5 times 5 is 25. Oh, hey, what's that? Let's subtract. That gives us 0x plus, then when you're subtracting, because remember, you're subtracting all of this, it's 25 minus 25, which equals 0. So you don't have a remainder. So your answer is 5. All right, now let's try one more, but let's change up the numbers just a little. Let's do 5x plus 26 over x plus 5. Okay, so same thing. 5x plus 26. You can pause this at any time, by the way. Divide, uh, sorry. 5x plus 26 divided by x plus 5. Remember, same thing. We're going to cover up those first numbers and just look at the first ones. Uh, sorry, we're coming up. Covering up the second numbers, and we're just going to look at the first ones. How many times does x go into 5x? Well, it's the same thing, 5 times. So let's try that. Now, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 5 is 25. And remember, we're subtracting all of this. So that gives you 5x plus 26 minus 5x plus 25. That gives you 0x plus uh, 1. So if this, is zero, if this is 0x, well that just equals 0, we can get rid of that. But this is our remainder, and this is what we have. So same thing as what we did up here. We're going to bring the 5 over. And then our remainder, 1, over, what were we dividing by? We were dividing by x plus 5. Okay? That would be your answer in this case. Now, this problem is going to be done a lot similar to this one. So how about you give this one a try, and let me know what happens. Okay, bud?